Yes indeed, y'all. Yes indeed. Welcome to UDR Productions. Please like, subscribe, and share. It doesn't cost you nothing to subscribe. So we can keep bringing you guys all this good content from prayer to streets. UDR Productions. Let's go and let's get it. Yes indeed, y'all. Yes indeed. Um... Today we're doing an interview um, about a business that just opened up. This is the name of the business right here. This is the name of the business. So uh, once y'all guys see the interview, feel free to come. This is what they have right here. This is the menu. They got breakfast and everything. Looking good, y'all, looking good, looking good. Yes, indeed. Let's start this interview now. MVP. What's up? Good afternoon, y'all. Good afternoon. You're listening to your boy, MVP, most valuable Paul the proud thing, a radical black Puerto Rican man and guy from the Bronx for life. Started currently residing in Bridgeport CT. Now, before we get into any introductions of an amazing guest and the business that is being opened up. I want to first of all just acknowledge what's going on right now. And I want to just take that moment to just celebrate my birthday first and foremost. Happy birthday. Thank the Lord for that. Mm -hmm. Celebrate the fact that this wonderful business, Crunch and Munch, has opened up again. My homeboy had just came back from a funeral from a very tragedy, dicey situation of someone that was killed and it's easy for folks to mourn and it's okay but I want us to celebrate life the fact Amen. that God woke us up today is the reason Amen. why we gotta continue to push this forward no matter what cause you never know what's gonna happen usually I don't start this way folks but I feel like this is something worth to highlight mm -hmm. and embrace because you never know what someone's going through prior to you never know what's gonna happen to any of us right. afterwards Let's celebrate today. And I want to start off with a prayer. If it's all right with you, and we're doing prayer, it goes like this. Thank you, Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord, for this time of fellowship, Father God. Thank you, Lord, for this time of togetherness, Father God. Lord, for all the bad that has happened in the past, even currently, and whatever's being prophesied, Father God, you make it right. And we must continue to seek you, Lord, for guidance. Let's have a wonderful show. Let's rock. Let's enjoy. And most of all, let's continue to love one another. That's the great Bible say, Lord, in your mother's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I want to start off by just um, endorsing and support Crunch and Munch. If Crunch you guys and look Munch Takeout. Yep, Crunch and Munch Takeout. They have a variety of different things from um, jerk, jerk chicken, yeah. curry chicken, no. I'm the American oh. food. Hey, listen, I listen, listen. listen we, 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 we got listen. I, I, you got to support. I eat all. Oh, I eat Puerto Rican food. I eat mm -hmm. Jamaican food. I eat food that tastes good. That's yes. from the heart. That's the yes. what's most important. It's from the heart and it's with love. Exactly. You just learn about cultures and you celebrate and embrace. Get the head. And anyone that doesn't think that, get that head out your heart. So, mm -hmm. without any further ado, I want to introduce one of the owners. Give a wave in the background. I see you. Yeah, you go. Yeah. <laughs> I want to give an introduction to um, this amazing guest. She's one of the owners. Her name is Kim, a.k.a. Sasa. Yeah, say, Sasa. Yeah, Sasa. So just um, say hello. Hi, everyone. How you, good. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. So talk about your business as far as crunching months. I know there's been trials. I mean, I've, obviously, you, the whole family, your crew, mm -hmm. um, dealt with COVID. So I know oh, that yes. was that's a big factor. So what does it mean for you to just reopen crunching months? And talk about the different styles of food that you create mm -hmm. and just what it means to just open it up back up for the community for you. Okay. So first off, it's always been a dream for my husband and I to open Crunch and Munch. And um, it came to fruition um, due to COVID. Everything slowed down, but we're back with a bang. We have a very diverse menu. We have our jerk pineapple wings. We have jerk chicken sandwiches. We have um, soul food sundaes. Um, but we have a lot of diversity in our menu. Wow. 
And I can imagine just the diversity of the different types of foods, different mm -hmm. styles, yes. um, different so it's not um, your ways, flavor. Yes. Right, that's what I'm not saying. Not your traditional it's rice not. and peas, jerk chicken. <laughs> no, it's like a fusion of things. You right, know? It's making so. me hungry right now. <laughs> I'm just saying though, she's talking about the diversity, the fusion. It sounds yes. delicious. I mean, yes. it, it's, it's amazing. So talk about what does it mean to have um, this opportunity to um, give back to the community. I mean, obviously you see what's going on as far as like homelessness, yes. um, people suffering in different ways, not having the financial means to like buy just, I mean, what does it mean if you just say, you know what, I want to give back and just yes. really inspire the community by just incorporating this whole business. And I will say, since we've opened, the community has gravitated to us, which we're very appreciative and we are thankful for the support. Um, being able to give back, we plan, we're doing a lot of things. Like for Halloween, we're doing um, things for the kids, giving away free pumpkins, having treats, um, pumpkin carving contests. That will be October 31st, which is a Saturday, um, right outside of Crunch and Munch. And um, also November, we'll be doing, uh, we're trying to feed the homeless and we're trying to set up on Thanksgiving Day oh, wow. right here. And 10% off for anyone who donates non perishable items so we can donate to the food pantries. So, emphasize more about that, Kim, about, mm. you know, what does it mean to like, um, to have donations to do like you know events for the yes. kids and doing yes. events for the community right. especially for homeless people because like i said if you go to food if you go to stop and shop right. or bj my wife was telling me that when they went to bj's mm -hmm. the price went up on everything on everything on everything and she's like yo that's <laughs> crazy like inflation even, even like with coupons she was like even with the coupons it's still up it's still up she's, yeah. and it's like it's like okay so you want to raise everything else up but our paycheck. All right, but that's. Exactly. I'm gonna I'm digress on that one. I'm gonna exactly. digress on that one. But listen, I'm gonna mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell like it is. I'm gonna digress on that. But I'm gonna yes. tell like it is. Everything else goes up by our pay rate. But that's another story. Yes. <laughs> but not to get sidetracked on that one. But yes. I had to put it out there. Yeah. What does it mean for you to say, you know what? Let's really give back to the homeless people. Because again, you know, we were just talking about how. You no know, prices of food goes up. Yes. But yeah, you want to say, you know what? Let's gather together donations. Let's exactly. gather together canned goods. Exactly. Let's put together wonderful meals. Like, what does because it mean to like see that to the homeless people and say, you know what? Mm -hmm. I want to bless you and feed you. What does that yes. mean? It's really self gratifying yeah. to know that we can provide this. God has blessed us, so we're able to bless others. You know. So wow. being part of the community and everyone gravitating to us, it's only right to give back. Mention, talk about what you were saying earlier today before we got on the air about how, you know, when you guys started to open up today, yes. how you oh had a woman that God. came in here and just started praying the spirit. Like, oh tell, me, tell me what it meant for you as an owner, for your family, for, 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 um, for your workers that's here with mm -hmm. you. Talk about what that felt like when you saw that moment. Right. Okay, so this morning, as we normally op up, open up at um, 7 o'clock this morning, um, I was mopping the floor and she wanted to buy a drink. And I said, I don't want you to fall, but tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. So she had a lot of her collection. You know, she seemed like she was, you know, one of the unfortunate ones. Um, and she went through and got her money. I gave it to her. And as I was giving it to her, she just started praying and praying blessings upon our business, our lives and prosperity. And that was so meaningful more to me than going to church and receiving that from a pastor. I think that, you know, the Lord is a genius. Mm -hmm. People don't realize how God is a miracle worker, how the Lord is a miracle worker, how Jesus is just a genius, how he will use somebody, something, to get your attention and I'm hoping folks are listening to that because not to say that the Lord won't use a pastor but if that's all you're seeking I wish you the best on that one because you're gonna get hurt you're gonna be very disappointed so you know the Lord will use whoever whenever wherever because God is the mighty supreme so for you to receive that yes. prayer to for you to see it as oh no 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 she's homeless I wish she talking about you Yes. God will test your faith. I know. And I felt like, it sounded like to me, correct me if I'm wrong, yes. it sounded like your faith was tested to see yes. what, where's your heart at exactly. when she walked in and mm -hmm. how did you treat her? So exactly. did you feel like your faith was being tested at yeah. that moment? Okay. Well, after, I said that was only God. Yeah. That was only God. And me, I'm the type of person, I won't turn away anyone. Absolutely. We come from a family that my mother made extra food just because she doesn't know who's going to stop by, you know? Yeah. So 
I'm all, I've always seen the giving. My mother's always shown me to give and to help and do what you can do for others. It's not always about receiving, you know? Right. Well, the Bible says that it's better to give than to receive. Yes. So the fact that you knew that of being a giver mm -hmm. to, to help someone that was in need, mm -hmm. God was pleased with that. The Lord was pleased to say, well done, because you wanted to make sure that she was fed. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just fed physically, probably she was hungry, like physically, yeah. mm -hmm. but she wanted to be fed spiritually by her praying to the Spirit. Yes. So that, that was God, that, it was, that was powerful. A, that was a God divine a moment, it, it, yes. appointment. Mm -hmm. And then for you to see my shirt, if you guys look, yes. it says John A. Talk, she's like, this is confirmation from the Lord yes. that this guy, had, this has to happen. Yes. So talk about what does it mean for you to really be a God-fearing woman to you yes. as far as what the Lord has shown you in your life and yes. what does it mean to just be that example in your case as far as like, you know, your everyday life, your marriage, yes. your business, like what does that, what does is, what is the Lord has revealed to you for you in your okay. case? So God is very present in everything I do from my children, my business, my husband, to everything around me, I put God first. That's, right. That's just how I was raised and I see I see the power of God, Absolutely. you know, for myself. Amen. So it's not like Amen. I need to be convinced or I, I, I'm fully, fully, you know, a vessel for God. And I always say, you know, God use me, help me so I can help others, so. I mean, I think that's a wonderful, you know, like this morning before my boy and I talked and before we mm -hmm. met, you know, no, no, my wife was like, I'm gonna give you a birthday card. I wanna make sure I'll be the first one to say a birthday to her, babe. <laughs> Get ahead, mom, you got this, right? right? <laughs> but this but that but this morning I was just talking to a guy one on one and I was sharing how, you know, your walk with the Lord is different from anybody else. Oh, no yes. one has the right to tell you how to pray, what to pray for, where to pray. The Lord opens up opportunity upon opportunity to pray. And I was just praying to us, the Lord just bless this wonderful day and let's just have a great time. And just me waking up today, yes. given the fact that what's going on to what he was talking about earlier, mm -hmm. you know, the pandemic, the senseless killings and violence. Yes. I said, Lord, just the greatest gift you gave me it's is so just I waking see. up today. Mm -hmm. And whatever comes afterwards, Lord, I would never question it because right. I know it comes from you. Yep. So what the does good, it mean? The bad, the Absolutely. Indifferent. That, that's right. And, yeah. and, and talk about what does it mean for you to like just celebrate life, like just given the fact of everything that's going on around us. What does it mean to like just celebrate life for you? For me, I just I'm constantly positive. I use everything good, bad, or indifferent as a learning tool, um, and I just try to spread positivity. Absolutely. You know, in everything I do, and interaction is a meaningful, positive reaction. Right. It's all. That's. Yeah. You mentioned something earlier um, before we got near. You said you had this on podcast radio. I mean, I, you know, mm -hmm. God gives us a platform to have podcast radio to speak in our hearts of what we believe in, what we mm -hmm. stand for, what's our perspective about different topics. When at the time that you was doing podcast radio, um, what was the direction you wanted to go? What was the whole um, topics you was focusing on at that mm -hmm. time? Like, what was you into? Okay, so being that I'm a nurse, so my priority, my duty to the public is to inform. You know, so we would talk about um, subject matters from why do people cheat from, you know, who's better cooking in the kitchen, men or women, you know, silly stuff like that. And um, I always provided a medical minute. So we would talk about male prostate, getting your annual exam. We talk about diabetes that affects um, African American community, um, the Hispanic community, you know, so those things get overlooked. And I don't think it's in our face enough that we can actually do something about it, you know? We, we know We're what, ignorant sometimes. Yeah, well, you know, know what, let's start this then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's not overlook that because since CNA and nurse was in your background, talk about what folks need to know in terms of um, hygiene, health, folk talk about um, what your message is in terms of like the essence of healthy overall eating, well -being. overall your well-being. Like, yes. Why don't mm -hmm. you, you know what, since you're saying that it's being overlooked, yes. and I don't know why we're over, well, I don't know why folks will overlook that because that's a yeah. part of your body. I think you the want to that. awareness only came Holding about on with um, the pandemic that's going on um but besides that uh, especially me men they are i'm sorry to say you guys are stubborn so um being told go one. to your checkup go go to your doctor's visit you guys are not too receptive who got time to go to the doctor's office you, get, you wait till you're on death's door and curled up on the couch crying for your mother that's when you want to go to the hospital so yes male <laughs> ignorance okay Kills, okay? 
Yes, I, I had to put you, that out there. Okay. <laughs> I'll say this. I think that, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, this is just me. Mm -hmm. I noticed that women in the Caribbean islands yes. are like our nurses. True. That's they like our nurses. But you still so don't we, listen. No, no, no. You know what? Okay, that's another conversation for yeah. another time. But I will say this though: mm -hmm. you're right about this part. That mm -hmm. there are times that a lot of guys don't go to doctors for different yeah. reasons because of stubbornness or no, I'm cool. Yes. But we also have done this. I know I've experienced this. That we have, you know, women in our lives, like Caribbean women, you know, mothers, aunts, grandmothers, that were like our nurses. Like if we were sick, they knew how to take care of us. Yes. So we kind of didn't really want to go to the doctor. And then there's like that. yeah, there's some home remedy that could fix it. Then, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. But I think too. I think also too. The reason why I think that helps out a lot because a lot of times, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I know you have that background for nursing. A lot of times, doctors want to prescribe like medication, and yes. medication doesn't always do yes. because and that's effect, true too. and that's dangerous. So right. the home remedy helps me. So right, right. Focus but uh, on that, uh, but when it that. reaches a point where you can no longer control it, that's when you need to seek medical attention. I am a nurse, but yes, I do do my little home remedies first before as my first line of defense. But when it's past that point and you're on death's door, you need to get off the couch and go to the hospital. <laughs> Yo, Dave, I think she's trying to let us know. Yes, get yeah, your got, prostate we, we, checked. We, we, we got to okay. get a physical. We got to get, get a physical. Get colonoscopies. <laughs> get all of that blood work checked. Just get, you know, a baseline what's happening yeah, with yourself. Yeah, yeah. And like with Crunch and Munch, um, being that I'm a nurse, we don't promote salt and extra sweeteners and sugars and stuff because that's killing our people. So, you know? So what do you promote in terms of like not having that salt, sugar, sweet? Like what do you promote right. instead? We like more try to um, use natural flavors okay. like um, our jerk pineapple sandwich. It does has, um, it have uh, seasoning on there, but you get a fresh piece of pineapple on it as well. You know, so we're trying to incorporate it. We sell um, side green salads. Okay. You can put grilled chicken on it. You know, so we are incorporating a healthier aspect. To, we're the first, let me just say, let me put it out there. By all means, guys. Okay, we are the first Jamaican owned fast food restaurant. The first. Not um, the traditional rice and peas and this and that, like I said, but we are the first pioneer in what we are doing. So I have to just put that you know, and claim it. <laughs> claim it. Okay. Well, you know what, though? I think that you're always going to have. You always gonna have competition no matter what, but I think what you just did highlights what makes you mm -hmm. different from anybody else. Yes. And I think that it's definitely worth supporting mm -hmm. and worth highlighting. Folks, once again, definitely support Crunch and Munch. Yes. Definitely Crunch support and Munch. definitely no. support Crunch and Munch. Definitely support Owners Kim <laughs> and the fam. Yes. It's located on 54 Wood Avenue, Bridgeport, Connecticut, 06605. Mm -hmm. Folks. They're gonna bless you with wonderful meals, natural meals. Yes. No salt, no sugar, no sweetness. It's natural. not fresh, it has flavor, but it's just not. <laughs> you know what it's I mean. I, listen, yes, it's she nothing might. to send you to the ER. Okay? Right. That, well, listen, I, I think she's trying to give us a warning, Dave. We gotta go, we gotta go to the hospital. Yes. We gotta go to the doctor. I want my people, our people, to know <laughs> lay off the salt and the sugar because it kills us. That's true, though. And then you yeah. end up on all those medicines, your whole counter is full of pills, 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 pills. That's how that happens. So take care of yourself. Absolutely. Let your food be your medicine. You know, incorporate fruits and vegetables. And, you know, we have it here. If you don't feel like cooking, we have it here. Listen, mm. <laughs> on that note, folks, once again, shout out to Crunch and Munch. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Kim, the owner. Mm -hmm. Shout and out to my her husband, husband, Shane. Hey, Shane, where you at, brother? <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are, there you go. Yes, sir. <laughs> shout out to Shane. Shout out to the whole family back there who's working their tails off to yes. bless the community with wonderful food. And once again, folks, Crunch and Munch is located on 54 Wood Avenue, um, Bridgeport, Connecticut, 06605. Folks, let's support local businesses. You Amen know what I'm saying? Because that. a lot of times, you always see people like going out to expensive places and it's like you're, you, you, you end up being broke. But go to a place that's reasonable, mm -hmm. that's willing to help out. And like I said, folks, we're going to give you guys a shout out once again. Um, subscribe to DR uh, Productions Go Love Team. Thank you for mm -hmm. listening to your boy MVP. Shout out to Kim. Shout out to my dog. Shout out to everyone in the back. Once again, <laughs> Lord, you get all the honor and glory. Yes, Folks, we love glory. you guys. We're going to go out again until next time. Bye. Out.
indeed, y'all. Yes, indeed. Welcome to UDR Productions. Please like, subscribe, and share. It doesn't cost you nothing to subscribe. So we can keep bringing you guys all this good content from prayer to streets. UDR Productions. Let's go and let's get it.